Hello, I'm Greg Royce, and welcome to the Dave Verdan Coaches Show. I'm here with Stevenson Cross Country Head Coach Dave Verdan. And Coach, you opened up the season last week with the uh, Mustang Stampede. Talk a little bit about how that went for both teams. I, I'm really I'm, I'm happy with the way it went. Um, it was definitely one of those kind of beginning of the season, just let's see where everyone's at. Yeah. We didn't really run it completely all out, but um, I was definitely happy with the performances. Some people really stepped up and surprised me as well. Yeah, on the men's side, obviously Langston had a had a family commitment, so he couldn't be there. Um, so obviously, some other people stepped up. Um, talk about like Patrick Watson and a couple of the other guys that stepped up on Friday. Yeah, so Patrick had a really good summer and really good preseason. So I, I've been expecting him to kind of step up, mm. and um, he really did step up well, well with um, with Langston not being there. Um, he mixed it up with those top Hopkins, Hopkins guys for yeah. a while, and um, yeah, I mean, just overall, everybody ran really well. Uh, they were definitely tired. We did a hard workout at 6 a.m. that morning, yeah. so it was it was a good day. Yeah, and talk a little bit on the women's side. You said you were probably maybe a little bit surprised with how far some of the progress that you made on that side. Yeah, definitely. So I was expecting Kelly to be up there, right. and I mean she she went out a little bit harder than we wanted to, but she hung on and had a a really good race. I mean she ran. I think over 30 seconds faster than she did last year, so yeah. that's that's a good sign. And then just some of the freshmen just really stepped up. I mean Emily Gates, um, Allie Cray really came out of nowhere. She didn't even think she really wanted to do cross country because yeah. she was a a track runner. And then um, Chloe O'Hara was another freshman that really stepped up. Yeah, um, what does it mean to have a, a program like Hopkins, who's you know obviously a national championship contender on both the men's and women's side, to come to the you know to come to your home course and to have your athletes have a chance to run against a program like that. Yeah, no, I think it's really good. And I think the the best part is, I mean, they see, my athletes see how deep that team is mm-hmm. and how committed that team is. Um, the women have from Hopkins have won the national title four out of the past five years. And the men have a really good shot at winning this year. So for our guys to go out and mix it up with them and the women as well, I think it, it really means a lot to them. Yeah. Now looking ahead to this week, um, you're home again this week, Friday night on Greenspring, uh, the Shannon Henry Invitational. Uh, talk a little about Shannon and the scholarship fund and um, – you know, what you hope to accomplish this year with that? Yeah, so Shannon was uh, a Stevenson alumni. She ran cross country here at Stevenson. And then she also was a volunteer coach for us in, mm-hmm. in the fall of 2014. And unfortunately, Shannon passed away due to complications with pneumonia yeah. in December of that year. So the nursing department established a scholarship for students that best kind of resemble Shannon yeah. and um, we've been working with them and helping out as much as we can trying to get that scholarship endowed and they're very close I think they're only a few thousand dollars away so we give the um, entry fees from the race to the scholarship yeah. fund and um, for those of you out there that didn't know Shannon I mean just such a wonderful person um, I mean you meet her once and you would always remember her I mean she just was one of the most friendly um, non-selfish <laughs> yeah. uh, people that, that you would ever meet. Yeah. And talk a little bit about the, um, you know, the meet itself. Like obviously you have, um, you know, several teams coming in. Talk about the field for this meet. Yeah. So it, it's probably going to be a similar size to the first meet. It's mm-hmm. just, uh, we have more teams, but a lot of teams don't have really big rosters. Right. Um, as far as co- com- competition wise, Messiah is actually coming down for okay. it and they're in the conference. So that'll give us kind of a gauge as to see how we line up against them. Yeah. But again, I mean, being only the second meet of the season, right. cross country is unique. I mean, we, we kind of work into it. So the first mm-hmm. meet, we they'll, they'll race maybe the second half of it. This this um, meet coming up on Friday, they'll race maybe the last three quarters of it. And right. then next week's really the first time I kind of let them go all out. Yeah. So that's at uh, 5 o'clock for the women and 6 o'clock for the men. And then they'll have the uh, walk right after that. Yep. All right. So we hope to see everyone in Greenspring tomorrow. Uh, for Dave Berdan, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Dave Berdan Show.